Yo, what is up guys? So I'm currently setting up the stream. I'm gonna begin very shortly. I'm just gonna start the stream straight away. I'm gonna upgrade the RAM on the Lenovo Legion 5 Pro and I'm gonna do it live so you can follow the steps, see all the errors I make and learn from them. And as so many people requested this, I'm just gonna do it live. Quickly setting up the stream. There we go. We should be ready to go. Now I'm just gonna place my mouse mat under the laptop so it doesn't get damaged. Yo, shake oh lord. Good evening everybody. So we're just gonna do this live. I hope you like my setup. I've done it uh, <laughs> so many people requested this. Let me just quickly do this like this so I can easily read the comments. All right. First thing I'm using is a little screwdriver, Phillips head cross screwdriver. And we're just gonna open it up and tie all the screws. There's 10 screws in total. And I think the biggest problem is gonna be opening the lid, which is usually the biggest problem with laptops. Now I do have some tools for it. These are used to open a bike. I can just tuck it under and try to lift it up. Yo, GRP Gamer. Thoughts on the RX 85 or 80? It's the same one Jared used for his upgrade. So these are shorter screws at the front side. Now, I'm sorry guys, I'm not gonna read. Why are you ducking my question, bro? I'm not ducking question, I'm opening a laptop. That's gonna be a great, really great laptop, but I kinda wanna focus on this. But also, I think from what I've heard is that it also has RAM issues. So. Got two more to go and then we're gonna start off at the side trying to pry it open. I borrowed this from my uh, from my dad. <laughs> I didn't have the right screwdriver as well. Exactly. There's a lot of laptops that have RAM issues these days as Jared pointed out. I think I'm gonna open a window here. It's gonna freaking warm. One second, guys. There we go. Now, uh, let's see how we can get this little thing open. I think most people start here at the sides. 
oh, I did not feel like doing this part. I don't have the right tools for this. Flex. This is probably the hardest part, getting this thing out. Let's see if we can get something underneath there. Nope. Stuck as a thing. I think I see a little gap over here, but I am not sure. Yo, Farish. Okay, I'm, guys, give me one second. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna need another screwdriver. This is anything in. You can see the sides here, it's like super tight, so I cannot squeeze anything in there. Maybe over here, this looks like it's got some space. Yeah, maybe it will work. I'm just gonna, I've never really done this to a laptop, so maybe this will work. Oh, wait, I think I got something. Yeah, it's getting, yeah. Okay, so at this side, it's like super secure. I saw another video how they did it. This side, we have to get to this side. I have two of these things, so I might want to fit something in here and hold it like that. Put a little card in there. There we go. This is really freaking annoying. <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna do this really carefully. It snaps back, that's annoying. Now I might wanna open this and then check something in there. There's not a whole lot of space to fit something in there. I'm not sure if this is the right side to start. I'm just gonna... It just snaps. Freaking God damn it. I hate when you stuck like this. felt like something breaking. It's really, really tight. I think those snaps are right. Yep, it's 
it's getting out. So I got the whole thing under here. Now this is getting off. Now look what is happening if you were going to do the same process. This part is getting loose. So we want to get this part loose now. I don't want to put too much pressure on the screen. That's a little break. Gonna chuck the card in here. Like that. We're gonna go along this side. It's coming off. This is no fun doing stuff like this. Okay, now it's loose. And I think if I just do this carefully, I just lift the lid. Almost there. <laughs> no, it doesn't wanna it doesn't wanna reveal its secrets inside. There. Now we just gotta pry this little part open here. There we go, we got it. Nice. Whew, that got me sweaty. <laughs> so you wanna start at the ends, work to the vents, and then take the other side. Let's open this very carefully. Then look at the, let's look at the mechanism so people see what like the problem was. So if people are telling you, you can do this with a card, I salute you. I don't think it's gonna be very easy to do that only with a card. These cards don't, I don't, I don't trust these to, to do the job. And I don't wanna break anything, so. Are you acting up? There we go. We got it open. So these are the things, if you look inside, there's little clips over here. These make it very difficult. These are really, really tight. Now, for anybody who's gonna open it this is what the inside looks like these are difficult and you want to start at you want to start at the front so if you're going to pry it open you want to start the front do use tools like these very small tip they get bigger that's what she said okay so i know the ram is over here so we're just gonna carefully, so these are the SSD slots if you wanna replace them. There's a little screw over here and one over here. You can open them. Over here we have the RAM and I think we just can just remove it. Is it locked? I don't think so. Through 
threat with caution. We don't want to damage the motherboard. There's little locks here. Why the hell did they put this thing on in the first place? So if you get a good grip over it, mine opened at this side. Just get a good grip and then put some force. So we got it open. Now, let me just show you up close what it looks like. This is the RAM. It's being held by little like clamps over here. The sides. If you push these aside, it'll just pop out like that. You can just pick out the RAM. So this is this is the problematic RAM. Let's compare it to the new one. So you have like these little black chips at this side, but at this side it's just empty. Now, if we compare that to the new RAM, which we have over here, it's different. We do have, you cannot really see it, but there's like four chips on this side. So this is the old, this is the new. And if we flip them around, this is the difference. This is the new one. Hatoshi rip ram. So we're just gonna place these in very carefully. And then you can hear a little snap, press them down and they're locked into place. Same process with this one. Open the clamps, throw it aside. You know what, guys? I'm actually gonna show you Warzone as I'm really curious about Warzone myself. Once I'm done this, I'm gonna, um, I'm just gonna show you what happens. Your little click, that's it. Now there's like a white panel on this side. There's also a little like white thing at this side. I'm just doing 16 gigabytes of RAM. Maybe it's smart to start at this side. Yep, that is a good idea. Mm, there's three clamps over here. Yeah, I'm just doing 16. It's more than enough for a laptop. I'm just doing it because everybody asked me to. But this is going to be annoying. No, sorry, it's 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 two times eight here. It's eight gigabytes of RAM. I'll put the link in the description when the stream is over. CL22, 3200 megahertz. This is the um, Lenovo Legion 5. Now, I'm not entirely sure if I put it in like this. 
Oh, wait, they had to go in like that. Ah, so it's like the clamps over here, it's like a little, little gripper. So you have to pull like the edges in so it snaps into place. That's done. The arc reactor of a legion. <laughs> you guys ready for some live benchmarking? This is easier. So we don't damage it. There we go. Successful. Or let's. I'm gonna play some Warzone for you guys. Wait, let me just quickly get the power cable already. So let's put in the screws. Start with the big ones first. So that was a pretty easy, right, guys? Pretty easy. Are you guys ready for some benchmarking? By the way, if you haven't hit the like button yet, then please do. That helps me greatly. I think for CPU games or CPU intensive games, this makes a hell lot of difference. Rainbow Six installed currently. I'm sorry. I will do that later on though. I will be benchmarking a lot of games as people have requested this upgrade a lot. I do not speak French. So That's okay. You can you can speak faulty English here. I will try to translate it for you, man. But I think your English is just fine. Oh boy, last crew. Let's freaking go. Place these at the side. These trashy ram sticks. Let's hope we did not break anything. This is into place. Quick last look. Everything seems to be fine. I paid 90 euros for this um, new ram. Blue stereo, 
I hope you did not break the screen. That would be totally something for me to do. The screen seems to be fine. Close your eyes, guys. Secret passwords. So, welcome guys to all those who are new here. I just upgraded the RAM on the Legion 5 Pro. Everybody can do this. It's not difficult at all. Now, let's go for some quick benchmarking. I paid, yeah, I paid like a good 100 euros, like 96 euros. So, let's quickly see. This PC. So we see 16 gigabytes of RAM. It's already registering it. Just let me get my mouse and my mouse pad. I'm not a big fan of the RG Strix, to be very honest with you. Where is my USB? Over here. I'm not a big fan of it. Do you play BF4? I can play anything. But I'm gonna play some Warzone now, as Warzone was performing terrible. Yo, the Ruby. Good evening, brother. Wait, just let me get my magic box. No cooling pad, just a Samsung S21 box. <laughs> yeah, it is, uh, Julia. It has. Now we we'll just go wait for the game to boot up. It is in silent mode. Let's put it on boost mode. Now you can, oh, I'm not gonna upgrade the SSD. I already showed everybody how to do that. So, super simple. Plus there's more dudes out there that actually know way better how to do that than me. What do you guys think? It's gonna make a big difference? Of course. You update Warzone and it requires another restart. What a stupid game that is. <laughs> Why? Gonna be like the 3070. I think it's gonna be even better than the 3070. So welcome everybody who is new to the channel now. I just upgraded the RAM. Here are the old trashy sticks. As you can see, no chips on this side. And we're just gonna play some Warzone. As um, Jared mentioned, yo, engineering zone, what's up bro? Jared mentioned that the biggest difference was in Warzone, so I tend to find out. I'm not gonna go on WoW today. Well, maybe, maybe, maybe. I, I don't wanna stream for too long. I was just so, so, I just got the RAM sticks and I was like, yo, dudes, I'm gonna stream. Okay, that is a little bit big. 
Hello? You guys can see the FPS like this, right? This is, this is fine. It's maybe not as pretty as you hoped it would be, but it's at least something. Can you sell the stock RAM? Of course, it's just normal RAM, just with bad timings. But Yes, I'm going to do the comparison versus the MSI if this actually performs a hell of a lot better now. If it performs like trash, I'm just going to send the RAM back. Okay, that was a joke. It's going to be awesome. Watch this, guys. Who <laughs> are you excited as I am? Curse these fat fingers. There we go. I'm already seeing something I haven't seen before. Check your gear and weapons. Planes are making ready for deployment. It is definitely better. It is definitely better. Definitely. I'm seeing hundreds way more than I used to. So Yeah, this is a 165 hertz laptop. So the RAM speeds do matter. I'm not seeing the 10 to 20% upgrade just yet. I'm going to go to my testing spot, which is over here. And I'll decide then if it if it's really worth it. It is all, all in high settings. I'm just going to shut the sound down. <laughs> if, if I really were that rich, guys, <laughs> I would do all those comparisons. I'm, I'm not that rich. <laughs> I am not that rich. I mean, I buy the laptops that most people request. These are pretty much the ones that were most requested, the Legion 5 Pro. Also the upgrade, highly, highly requested. It is an ultra settings, max settings. Let me just quickly show you the settings I'm using. So we're, we're by the way, we're playing 1200p. So we are playing a higher resolution than 1080p. So I'm gonna downgrade that just for the best comparison sake. Why is that dude actually here? He's, he's just fo blindly following my marker. Go there. <laughs> Did you buy the coffee from this? this? <laughs> yeah, I bought a cup of coffee. <laughs> oh, that is funny. Are you so funny? Oh yeah, you're so funny. Okay. So we're going to set it on 1080p now. It's going to look weird, guys. I'm sorry, but this is the way I'm testing this stuff. So this is my, my usually my routine walk. Okay, the, definite, the FPS is definitely higher. It is most definitely higher. It is getting to the level of the MSI GP76. 
But it's not on the same level just yet. Why the fuck are these guys following me? Ooh, I said a bad word. Pardon me. Yeah, I'm sorry teammates. I <laughs> They're so pissed off with me. <laughs> They're just like, what is this dude doing? Yeah, guys, I'm live streaming. I'm sorry. Don't hate me. I am not using DLSS. I'm gonna use DLSS now. But guys, I can tell you this upgrade. Oh, banana. Oh, banana. What? Okay, that is the biggest result I've seen thus far. Holy shit. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, 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 yep. This is on the same level as the MSI GP76 now. That is crazy how much that a difference makes. Wow. This has instantly became my favorite gaming laptop. <laughs> what the f Try low settings? Sure. Why not? <laughs> oh, sh shizzle. Okay, so low settings with DLSS on. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. <laughs> it was not possible like this before. It would just stay on the same FPS. It is literally, it is literally like 40 FPS higher right now. Not even the GP76 really reaches these kind of levels of FPS. Oh my God. Look at that. It's just 16 gigabytes. 32 might give you a little bit. Okay. Let's turn the LSS off. See what that does. That is still phenomenal. Do you guys want me? Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know, I told you. Wait, let's try some more games. So for Poo Poo, are you still here, Poo Poo? I, I'm, I'm just gonna start, start a while for the poor guy. He just, he was in the, the other stream and he could, I couldn't show him. This is one is for you very shortly, Poopoo, very shortly. I'm gonna start some Reddit redemption after this one. <laughs> you earned it. You earned it. That's <laughs> okay, buddy. <laughs> very shortly. Special for you. Wait a minute. Am I on the US or something? What is this? Oh, we're on the US. Oh boy. <laughs> this makes me really happy. Okay, so Bastion. Yeah, let's just go to Bastion. Very quickly, guys, we're just gonna shut WoW down. I'm just doing this for somebody that re requested like twice. So this is this is the highest resolution possible, 1600. Max settings, 
That, this is incredible performance. We're in the 100 FPS zone on the max resolution. One second. Would you look at that? This is a very demanding zone for those who do not play World of Warcraft. So, Poopoo, do with it as you will. <laughs> Let's play some um, Red Dead. This is, for WoW, this, this laptop is, this WoW is a joke to this laptop. It's like WoW, ha <laughs> ha what do you mean WoW? Uh, I don't have Apex Legends installed just yet. Wow, this RAM upgrade does a lot. That is not even a joke. Why does Lenovo do this? Like we so much more. Yes. Yes, the RAM upgrade is definitely worth it. Most definitely. These are like, there's no, there's absolutely no chips on this side. So I probably hence the performance, but I'm just, I'm just like, Talking uh, Linus and Jared kind of language. They have way, way more knowledge than me. I think it has to do with chip shortage or just being cheapos. The price on the new sticks I got, which are the crucials after the stream i'll put the link in the description um it's probably hard to read i hope you guys can read this it's the crucial crucial ones let me just get my phone real quick i'll show you on the phone which one i got But it's probably in Dutch, so I know if it's helpful. So this is the model number. Well, it's all in Dutch, you guys. Nothing to do with that. I think we're playing in the highest resolution already. Yes, we are. Wow. That is mental, guys. But this is more like a GPU intensive game, so I'm not sure if we're gonna see that much difference in this game. I mean, the performance in this game was already really good, but it definitely reached a, a whole different level now. Does the lower resolution look bad on the screen? No, not at all. I got guys, come on. This is a 16 inch screen. Yes, the 16, uh, 1600p definitely looks sharper. Does this look like unsharp? No, you can perfectly play it at 1200p. It's sharper than full HD. So what are we talking about? It's great. Honestly, the laptop was pretty easy to pry open. You just have to get a start in the corners. You want to start over here on the bottom side. You can see it in the beginning of the video. Guys, if you haven't liked the stream, that really helps me out. Also, if you're not subscribed yet, that also helps me out. Okay, I'm gonna start up some... Stop.
hyper x ram should be as well good yeah i think any ram apart from the stock ram with the same timings will be better but i did not want to spend too much on it there's definitely a performance increase most freaking definitely you know what guys i'm gonna play some cold war in a second but i'm also really curious about valorant as valorant was super super underperforming i don't have csgo installed but valorant was super underperforming on the laptop Yeah, I mean, come on. Oh, I probably got the penalty. Did I get the penalty? Do I have the penalty? Deathmatch. So guys, I'm playing without sound. Do not hate me. <laughs> That's not like you listen to the sound. It looks like it's in the highest resolution. So that is a thing for a high. So this is the max resolution high settings. Apart from bloom, wait, we can turn the sharpening off. This is definitely better. Much better than it was. I don't have PUBG installed. I'm gonna lower the settings real quickly because most of you are gonna play this one. I guess. Oh, why doesn't it wanna do that? That is stupid. Wait, like this. Did it change? That's pretty much the same. So there's definitely a performance increase, but it's not on the same level as the GP. PUBG will easily run really high FPS. This, this game still favors Intel, no matter what RAM upgrade you do. Intel is just performing much better. It's going 300 plus FPS. So for Valorant, you're still better off with, even after a RAM upgrade. Do you recommend to turn on hybrid mode? I just got my device today. No, turn hybrid mode on. Uh, hybrid mode off as hybrid mode uh, uses the iGPU and you want to use the DGPU, the dedicated GPU. It's called a mug switch. Ah, oh, that's a good question. Warzone Rebirth. That is a good question. I promised someone to play some Cold War. So that is what I am going to do. And then I'm going to play some Rebirth. See how that is. Also some GTA. I'm not going to make this stream too long, guys. I'm sorry. The price on the RAM was almost 100 euros. 96 euros. I'll put it here on the screen. People who can zoom in. More RAM than 60 gigabytes is useless. Well, not entirely. Depends on what you want to do. For most games, it is useless. Mahir, welcome back, bro. Welcome back, brother.
Cold War. Will PUBG run at 60 FPS? Yes, man, <laughs> easily. <laughs> no question about it. The laptop, its price is 1600 euros, but I just added another 100 euros to it. So it's 1700 now. And if I sell these, will it become cheaper? Or where are they? I think I threw them away. Here they are. Give me back my RAM. Can I upgrade RAM and SSD on the GPU? Yes, you can, but those laptops are freaking hard to pry open. I'm not even gonna try that. I am not even gonna try that. What I am going to do is compare this laptop to the GP now. Linus says up to 20%. Maybe in the lows, not in the highs. Yeah, I'm gonna sell that RAM, or maybe I'm not. Maybe I'm gonna use it for the stock. One second, doing the uh, update. <laughs> Thank you for doing this. No problem, man. There's been so many people that were requesting it and there was nothing to be found on gaming performance on it. So here I am doing this, doing it live even for you guys. <laughs> So these tools are very helpful. This is a tool you need to pry open the laptop. It's like very small, so you can just chuck it in and then like leverage it open. Don't leverage too hard, just like put it in, leverage it, and then just move this way. You don't have to go to the sides. If you wanna open the laptop, you just wanna use this entire side. Don't go near the air fence. You will probably break them. Credit cards always work. This one was freaking terrible. You cannot open the laptop with a card. Trust me, you can use it if you leverage it with something like this, but these things are way too flimsy. No way you can open. I, I seriously tried, it, it, it will just break. It won't work. You need something stronger. Yes, HDD and SSD is upgradable on this laptop. It's, very, it's just as easy to... Yep, guitar picks will work as well. As, hard, as long as you have hard plastic. This, and it's a little bit thicker than this. But you, you know, guys, even this small end doesn't fit within the crack of the laptop. It has to be even thinner, like this. This, the card is even too thick to fit in there. A guitar pick will most likely work as long as the edge is like, is, is like going down, almost flat on point of entry. I use my finger and credit card ended up with a bleeding nail, <laughs> bro. <laughs> Careful, opening laptops is a dangerous job. I am digging the performance on this. And I'm gonna be posting a hell lot of videos on this. <laughs> Welcome all the new subs. Thank you for the likes guys. That is very helpful. So let's play some multiplayer. Now we have 51 people watching. Can we hit 50 likes in the stream? That would be awesome. If everybody just hit that like button. Is the RAM upgrade noticeable? Yes, it is. You know what I'm going to do, guys? I think I'm gonna 
I'm gonna uh, adjust the cam to my little thing here. Give me a second, guys. If you go to the, to the beginning of the stream, you can see me actually physically upgrading the RAM. I've never really upgraded RAM on any laptop, but this, is, this was pretty easy to do. If you're wondering what that light is, it's a ring light. go let's mount this like that place the laptop over here place it a little closer well what do you know let's go easy as that setup Make the benchmark a little bigger. There we go. Let's play a quick game. Quick play. So guys, we just upgraded RAM on the Legion 5 Pro. You can see it how I did it in the beginning of the stream. I did it live. You can see my problem. So if you want to do this, Not easy for you to play though. No, it's not easy for me to play, but you know what? I don't care. <laughs> I'm just, this is just a showcase guys. Uh, I won't play like I normally do. So I'm normally like rank one player in the world. <coughs> Sorry. Well, that just happened. Can we dim the light a little? Nice. Whoa, why is the why is the mouse sensitivity like that? Boy oh boy. And why is the field of view like that? What is this? Hello, field of view. Hello, my name is Terio. I need high field of view. Oh, something like that. Okay, benchmark. Boom. So we're playing high settings, high. Even ray tracing is on, what on the planet? Let's put it on quality ray tracing off. The OSS quality. Let it load in for a second. That is good performance. You can just fit a normal size M.2 SSD slot in this laptop. One is already filled like standard, so you can put another one in there. Shoot you, bro. So, yeah, that's the performance on. Let's play some GTA 5. Don James, thank you for the sub. I don't have my headset on, so I don't hear the messages. Sorry. Let's. Dude, like this is better, right? This is better. Okay, let's play some GTA five.
Yeah, they do. They do. They do work. Two regular M.2 support. No, it's a normal size, if I'm not mistaken. I haven't opened it, but from, from the videos I've seen, it's just the normal one. The price on the SSD was 96, uh, 96 euros. I'm really curious how GTA is going to perform. RAM price is 96 euros. But what is the difference? I am really curious because I have warranty and don't want to destroy it. The difference is this. You definitely want to upgrade RAM. Very noticeable. This must be. It's ve it's actually it's actually very easy to pry open. Five to not in all games. GPU uh, GPU bound games are pretty much unaffected. It seems to be most in effect when it, the game is CPU bound, like Warzone. Warzone was a huge difference, especially with DLSS on. I was actually able to with hit one hundred thirty ish FPS. So, I think that's definitely worth it. I was only able to hit like 90 to maybe 100, 110 FPS, and we actually hit 150 on low settings. That's incredible on a laptop. That is really incredible. Compare this to the Legion 5 3070. I will. I will. I'm not I'm not done yet, guys. But it's just not today. Yo, we got 64 people watching again. That is phenomenal. What's up, guys? I mean Are you shitting me? Look at that. This was like I mean, guys, help me. Help me here. What was the FPS last time we did the benchmark? I think it was like in the 70s, 80s. Yeah, it's this is incredible. What resolution are we playing? Shoot me. We're playing the freaking max resolution here. What? This is 1440p plus. What the hell? <laughs> that is so much difference. That is so incredibly much difference. Wow. Okay, guys. Uh, well, guys. Here, here, here. People, okay, so I'm just going to show you. People are asking me, oh, are you using a cooling dock? Look, there is a little box and a lot of junk and cables. Excellent cable management. I'm not using a cooling dock. The GPU is really that cool. So you, you saw it live now, so don't bullshit me. Oh, Teriel, you're using a cooling dock. You're rigging the results. No, Teriel is not rigging the results. Set the MSA to blah, 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 okay, sure. So we are playing 1440, like, like 1440p on steroids resolution here, guys. So eight times, that's definitely gonna lower the FPS. Definitely lowering the FPS. But would you look at that, guys? We're in the middle of the freaking city. This is the heaviest place in the freaking game. Oh my god. 
Yes, I did upgrade the RAM on the Legion now and phenomenal. What a beast. What a machine. I'm speechless, guys. Absolutely speechless. I am going to do the upgraded version of this versus the 3070. And the resolution is 2560 by 1600. So we are playing 1440p on freaking steroids. There we go. This is the highest resolution that's possible. Mm -hmm. This FPS was impossible before the RAM upgrade. Impossible. I will I will compare it to before. I will I do have some data. I don't have like a hell of games I benchmarked on it just yet, so I'm just gonna do a few. I don't want to pry it open again. Dragfire, thank you for the sub buddy. You see guys, this is just the way it is. There's a box under the laptop, I'm not rigging anything. This is just how it is. So you're seeing it in life. Please don't comment that stuff for me again. You cannot have my car. The fans are... How are the fans on the GP? The fans are really nice. I do like the fans on this more. Okay, I think this just became my favorite laptop. This is incredible. The screen is incredible. The performance with the RAM upgrade is incredible. I can only recommend you to buy this laptop and upgrade the RAM. If it is available, which is, which is <laughs> most likely the biggest problem. Oh, so it has something lifting it up. Yeah, wait, here, look. There, a box. It just lifts up, it elevates the end. Phenomenal job. Holy macaroni, Lenovo. Yeah, that is awesome. Guys, if you haven't hit the like yet, then I suggest you hit the like and pray credits to Lenovo for making an awesome laptop like this. Also, if you're trying to choose between um, the, um, the Pro and the non-Pro, this screen is worth the upgrade. You're gonna probably gonna get more performance on the non-pro as you can play on 1080p and you don't have to play in 1200p. But I mean, most games just run easily like this. I'm just gonna start up some Cyberpunk, see how that is. I don't think we're gonna notice that much difference in Cyberpunk. What do you guys think? Is it good? Is it nice? Is it juicy? Hmm? Precious? Do you get a whistle? Like, no, it's like like you know, like like a fan making a soft sound in the background. That's the sound you're getting here. I am playing on five hundred nits. Wow, we got so many. Thank you guys for all the new subs. That is that is fun. Holy. Guys, I, I I just want to point this out that yes, yesterday you guys helped me break a record, a very old record of mine. I got 70 subs in one day. That is that is out of this world for a channel like mine. 70, 70 new subs. My goodness. Do you usually keep the brightness max when using? Yes, I I mean. I'm, I'm one of those people, like, when I use my phone, I just have my brightness all the way up. Okay. I like this place, the benchmark, this little place over here. From standard buying yeah you're gonna have to upgrade that probably because the timings are bad i mean that sucks buddy but 
you can just probably upgrade to 16 and notice an increase in performance with the new timings. Even this is, is a little better. Okay. Okay. Ray tracing is on. DLSS quality. So is this the highest resolution? That is incredible. Let's, I played it like this last time. Let's just. I don't see that much difference. I'm gonna play some Rebirth in a second. Call of Duty Warzone Rebirth. 400 nits is more than enough, man. I, I would say a standard, like it would be 300 nits. If you go below, through, like I think the, the G15, I had the Asus G15, I had like 250 nits. That is freaking dim, dude. That is not nice to look at. 300 nits minimum. I would definitely look into that if you buy a laptop. Well, if you want to play like really, um, uh, GPU intensive games like Cyberpunk, well, not even Red Dead because you just saw how Red Dead was doing. I don't know how Battlefield, the new Battlefield, is gonna do, but it's got it's got DLSS support, probably the newest DLSS, so it's probably gonna run like a super super smooth. Okay, well, let's play some Warzone Rebirth. I have the non prof and I find square SSD for this machine. I don't think you need a square SSD. I think you can just put in a regular M.2 SSD, if I am not mistaken. This just became my main driver. No doubt about it. This is incredible. Phenomenal performance. And it's probably gonna even gonna run better on an external monitor, which I'm gonna test out as well. I have so much content coming, guys. So let's go play some Rebirth. Thank you, Y, for the drink. She's laughing at me. <laughs> so we're gonna put everything on high. And play some Rebirth, see how that is. I'm gonna wait on with the LSS just yet. I have, yeah, I will download CSGO and Apex for an extreme, guys. I, I, I have heard you, don't worry. <laughs> I just need some time. So Stealth, Fierce, I can tell you now, 1440p, 1600p, everything with above 1080p with DLSS on is gonna perform the same. 4K DLSS is gonna perform the same as 1600p DLSS. Trust me, I've done I've done a lot of research on DLSS. DLSS doesn't really care what resolution you pick. It's just gonna make its own resolution with 1080p as a base resolution. So this is... <laughs> no way. No way. No way, guys. OK, 
Okay, let's try with the LSS now. That is some serious performance, guys. Between a 17 and 15 inch laptop, in your opinion? No, there is pretty much no difference. Maybe some in the airflow as a 17 inch has a bigger chassis, but that cannot be much. I mean, if something is this much bigger, how much is gonna do for the airflow? I think the bottom side is one of the most important parts of the laptop. If you have like a closed bottom side, like the G15 has, the Asus one, the intake is gonna be very minimal. So it's gonna keep a lot of warm air in or not gonna be able to suck a lot of cold air in. I need more ammo. He's down. I'm down as well. I think it's even locked the FPS, if I'm not mistaken. That looked like it hit the 40 for the P. Is it custom? No, it's not locked. I'm wrong. Looked a second like that. That guy's crying right now. So am I. Later. Playing without sound is terrible in this game. I will probably get sneaked in a second like that. Yep. Exactly like that. <laughs> thank you for the sub. <laughs> also, thank you for all the likes. If you haven't hit the like yet, it really helps the stream to be found. Come on! Look at that! You are joking me! You got to be joking me! Look at the performance! RAM makes all the difference. All the difference. All the difference. Ah, that sucks. He had a bigger gun. This is with the RAM upgrade, guys, for those who are wondering. This is with the RAM upgrade. And it's phenomenal. All the games are running so much better. So I'm gonna play some Battlefield. Which RAM did you put in there? You can see it in the stream, but I'm just gonna show it here for you. I put the ones, uh, I'll put a link in the description. Oh, wait, I got the webcam here now. I thought it was up here. <laughs> um, this one, the Crucial. I'll put a link at the end of the stream. I do not have any racing games. I am terrible at that. <laughs> and I don't want anyone to see. <laughs>
How do you know which RAM to buy? Just follow the, the, like the smart guys. That's not me. That's like Jared and Linus. <laughs> I'm just a tech enthusiast. So 1200p. Let's go. I wonder how this will do. I played this map the other day and it was performing pretty average. It cost me uh, 96 euros, 48 a piece. But why 16 gigabytes of RAM? We don't really need that much more. I'm not gonna play Microsoft Flight Simulator as I don't have any ambition to becoming a pilot. But for most games, 16 is more than enough. It's been tested over and over. And I had micro stutters, by the way, in this game. And are they gone? They are gone. What? Are you kidding me? Are we playing on... Oh. <gasps> Whoa! Look at that! Look at that! <gasps> I've, I've never seen a 3060 laptop behave like this. Period. Oh, there was a little micro stutter. Just for comparison's sake, the GP76 gets like 70-ish, 90-ish FPS here. At this part over here. So we're gonna walk over there. I know, yeah, you gotta fix the, um, the um, what's it called, the DirectX to set it to 11. But the FPS is just went freaking skyrocketed. I don't have that much background stuff running currently. Just a few, nothing, nothing of significance. Let's try it on the highest resolution. Let's change it to the highest resolution. Oh wait, I picked the wrong one. So this is, wait a minute, this doesn't look right, no, I messed it up, I messed it up again, such an annoying way of putting in settings. So this is the highest, you gotta be kidding me, how is it performing this good? So this is this is 1600p. This is like 1440p on steroids, and we're getting these settings on ultra. Ray tracing is off though. This is a laptop on steroids. Just yeah, guys, what you're seeing here doesn't know justice. This screen is fantastic. How much battery life do you get when you're on high remote? I have not tested that out yet. But 80 watts, I, I would assume if you would lower the resolution like 50% brightness, I would say like five to seven hours, something like that. AMD is pretty power efficient. But the frames are phenomenal. 
Come on. You want to mess the guy with the hammer? It's got 16 gigabytes now. Is this by over the Zephyrus G15? Hell yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> okay, I want to thank everybody for just keep pushing me to do this. I'm really happy with this. <gasps> Almost all leeches have good RAM if unstuck. I'm not sure about that. I am not entirely sure. Are you sure about that, Selexio? Is it safe to work with a laptop plugged in all the time? I don't see the problem with that. Of course, you can always turn on the battery manage mode. I have don't have Forza. Um, there's like a, you, there's like a little battery condition mode. You turn off quick charge and you do, um, well, this one says uh, um, perform or um, conservation mode. It's Dutch. I'm sorry. So guys, that was the live stream. I'm uh, uh, I'm I'm gonna stop here. It's getting pretty late, and uh, I'm gonna do a lot of benchmarks for you guys with the upgraded RAM versus the um, the stock RAM. See, I'll show you if it's worth it. But you got a little peek here, and you saw what it can do now. It's really good, guys. Phenomenal. So once again. If you want to upgrade your laptop, don't use a card. It's too flimsy. Use something like this. This is a bike tool. So for bicycles, you can switch the tire. I thought it would be a good tool and it proved out to be a very good tool because this is really, you have to have something really sturdy to do it. I'll put the, the like the RAM in the, in the description at the end of the stream, probably tomorrow. And you can check it out. Can do similar lives with the GP. <laughs> I don't have Forza. I'm not gonna play it. I'm sorry. Yeah, I will put the new the, like the RAM in the description which one I bought. But it's also on Jared's um, Jared the laptop uh, thingy. He all, I bought it from his link. How much degree is my room? It is currently 21 degrees inside. Probably 20 because it was pretty close to the laptop, which blew out some hot air. This is the outside temperature. This is 21 degrees Celsius. I bought it for um, 96 euros. So I'll put all that, all of that in the description. If you haven't hit the like yet, then guys, that really helps me. I'm going to end the stream here. You guys have been wonderful again. And I'll catch you next time. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Hello. This is, uh, I'm sitting beneath my ring light. I've got a little halo above my head. All right, guys, thank you so much. I'll catch you guys later. I've got some uh, benchmarking to do now. You guys are a curious bunch. I'll include the thingy in the description. Make sure to like the stream, hit the subscribe button and peace. <laughs>